Hello everyone and welcome! Now gaming laptops are becoming more and more capable and pack a lot of power into a compact size. This creates a challenge for the manufacturers when it comes to crafting an adequate cooling solution for the much smaller laptop form factor. In some cases this can lead to overheating issues during intense gaming sessions or prolonged heavy use. Luckily, there are plenty of cooling pads on the market that might solve these issues. A good cooling pad helps dissipate heat more effectively, keeping your laptop at optimal temperatures and preventing thermal throttling. And for this episode, we will unbox and test one of the more premium cooling pads on the market from Lano. So, once you purchase the cooling pad, it will arrive in this box. Inside, we find the cooling pad itself. We also get an extra dust filter, I will show you how you can replace it in just a minute. That's the warranty card, the user guide and a USB-C to USB-A cable. Here we have the pad. This is the 12V power adapter that actually powers the cooling stand. Now let's take a closer look at the cooling pad itself. The first thing you notice is the big fan cover at the middle. The cooling pad has one big 5.5 inch or 140 mm fan that blows air up into the bottom of your laptop. We have this really nice memory foam strip that goes around the inner diameter of the cooling pad. You place your laptop onto the memory foam, which creates an airtight seal, so that the cooling pad is pushing the fresh air and exhaust through the vents of your laptop itself. On the bottom side we have these legs that keep your laptop in place. These are the main touch sensitive controls. And to the right we have the fan speed knob. We can adjust the fan speed from 300 rpm all the way up to 2800 rpm. On the right side we got the power end port and the 3 port USB hub which is a very convenient bonus for connecting other devices. On the bottom side, we also got the legs for height adjustment. And the bottom fan cover which is removable for when you want to change the dust filter. That's actually a really nice feature since dust accumulation inside the laptop's heatsink and fans is the main reason for overheating issues. And having a dust filter eliminates that problem to some extent. I'm using the Acer Nitro 5 laptop and I wanted to make sure the memory foam pad is not covering any of the laptop's cooling vents so everything is alright in that regard. So now guys, all we have to do is connect the power brick and turn on the cooling pad. Now guys, to test the cooling pad's performance, I ran a couple of stress tests on my laptop without and with the cooling pad. Just a quick side note, I'll be running the pad at 600, 800 and 1200 RPM, which will be noted on the comparison charts. You can set the RPM all the way to 2800 and you'll get even better results, but I find setting the RPM between 800 and 1200 is the sweet spot in terms of cooling performance and noise level. First, we'll test the idle laptop's temperatures without the cooling pad and with the cooling pad running at 600, 800 and 1200 RPM. I will be monitoring the temperatures with the MSI Afterburner app as I have plenty of experience with it and I find the results most accurate. And now, after running a couple of benchmark tests, here are the end results. At idle without a cooler, I got an average CPU and GPU temperatures of 77 degrees Celsius, which is quite high to be honest, maybe because my room temperature was quite high as well at 26 degrees. 
with the Lano cooling pad at 600 RPM, 800 RPM and 1200 RPM, we go with 71, 62 and 59 degrees respectively, so it's definitely working even at much lower RPM. The next benchmark is rendering 4K video for roughly 15 minutes. You see, my laptop was absolutely frank at 91 degrees without the cooler. At the lower 600 RPM, we got very good temperature drop of 11 degrees and almost 20 degrees drop at 1200 RPM. In for Mark II, we also got really good results with the cooling pad. So next, let's move on to the sound test. You can see the decibel level and the RPM. Keep in mind that my phone is right next to the pad itself, so the readings might be slightly bit higher. But overall the noise level below 1600 RPM is definitely manageable. So guys, overall the Lano RGB cooling pad is a great accessory for any laptop user looking to improve their cooling and add some extra style to their setup. Its powerful fan and customizable features make it a great investment for gamers and professionals alike. And guys, if you like this cooling stand, you can find the purchase links in the video description. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more reviews and gaming content.